ways you can improve your dog's mental health. I'm sure you've heard about all the ways that dogs can help us with our mental health, whether it's encouraging us to take them for relaxing walks or all the love and attention they give us. But how can we improve our dog's mental health? Dogs can't tell us how they're feeling, but they also experience stress, grief, boredom and frustration, just like us. Paying attention to your dog's mental health is just as important as keeping her walked, well-fed and well-groomed. Before we get started, please help us out by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to ring that bell to see our frequently posted content. If your pup does experience any ailments or symptoms referenced within this video, we highly recommend seeking advice from your local professionals. Did you know you can now visit brooklandscorner.com to find local vets in your area? Reasons for mental health issues in dogs. Sadly, for some dogs, trauma and mistreatment in their past can lead to mental health issues. Dogs that have suffered from mistreatment can struggle to function the way they're supposed to. The most common types of mental health issues in these dogs are anxiety, edginess, and general hyperactivity. However, the most common reason for poor mental health in a dog is simply boredom. This is even more true for breeds that were designed to work for long periods of time or who are very intelligent and benefit from mental stimulation. For example, the Border Collie, the German Shepherd and the Siberian Husky can get bored easily if they aren't properly stimulated. Types of Mental Health Issues in Dogs Dogs can experience a range of mental health ailments just like humans. Let's take a look at some examples. Depression. Depressed dogs appear sad, lethargic, and withdrawn. Anxiety. Dogs can experience social anxiety where they develop a fear of humans, other animals, or unknown sights and sounds. Aggression. Distressed dogs with aggression frequently growl, bite, or snap. Obsessive compulsive behaviors. Dogs with OCD can destroy furniture and backyards, as well as barking at nothing or obsessively digging. Physical ailments. Poor mental health in dogs can lead to physical symptoms such as wheezing, poor appetite, or lethargy. Unlike humans, dogs don't pretend they're okay when they're not. If you pay attention to your pup, you can spot any signs that they might be struggling with their mental health. Diagnosis. As we know, a happy dog exhibits the following behaviors. Eats normally and isn't possessive. Is comfortable in their own space and doesn't hide or lash out. Doesn't destroy household items or try to escape. Isn't underweight or overweight. Is excited to play with you. Doesn't have consistent stomach issues. On the other hand, mental health issues in dogs can manifest in the following ways. Aggression and possessiveness. Many people assume that aggression in dogs is due to lack of training, but it's important to remember that aggression comes from anxiety and fear. Destructive behaviors. If your dog is destroying your furniture, he could be bored or lonely. Usually this behavior is linked with separation anxiety in dogs. Lack of interest in food, exercise, or toys. Just like in humans, if your dog isn't enjoying the things he usually enjoys, he could be suffering from depression. Antisocial behavior. Even independent dog breeds should seek out some sort of interaction. After all, dogs are social by their very nature. Vomiting. Again, as with humans, this could be a sign of anxiety. Excessive barking or howling. This is a common sign of a distressed dog. Treatment. Before we get into some of the treatments available, please feel free to comment below. Sharing is caring. Let us know your pooch's name, dog breed, and some of the issues you've experienced with dog mental health. So now we know how to recognize changes in our dog's mental health, but how can we improve it ourselves? Let's take a look. Visit the vet for regular checkups, and if you notice any changes in your dog's behavior, provide your dog with a safe and peaceful living space. Your dog should have its own space away from other pets, children, and adults in the house, especially if he's showing signs of poor mental health. Crate training can be a great option for dogs that need their own space. Feed your dog a healthy and nutritious diet. As with humans, mental and physical health are related. Make sure your dog has daily exercise and appropriate mental stimulation. 
This could be games, puzzle treats, or working on tricks together. If you don't have time to give your dog the stimulation he needs, consider dog walkers, doggy daycare, or training classes. Spend quality time with your dog and give him lots of attention. We all know that our dogs love us more than anything and they benefit hugely from cuddling, playing, or just hanging out with their favorite humans. Help your dog if it's experiencing loss or grief. Just like us, dogs grieve the loss of a companion or a significant life change like moving house. Give your dog more exercise and attention in these difficult times. Mental health issues are common in dogs, but thankfully, there are easy ways to improve them. Keep an eye on your dog's behavior and well-being, and you'll recognize any time they need some extra attention. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.